I study the structures of molecules in the gas phase, and quite often this involves uh, heating samples to very high temperatures. So for instance, I've recently been studying sodium chloride, and we had to heat this to about 1000 degrees centigrade in order to get it into the gas phase. Um, once it is in the gas phase, uh, the, the structure changes significantly from what you get in the crystal. Um, instead of having a nice lattice, we end up with molecules that perhaps only have one or two sodium and chlorine atoms in them. So these would be uh, linear if they just have one of each atom, and form a square if you have two sodiums and two chlorines. So we know that sodium chloride here on Earth is a solid, but sodium chloride and other molecules like it have been found up in space. Um, in space, it might, not be, uh, it might not be sodium that's there, there might be lithium or potassium. And so um, by studying sodium chloride, uh, we're learning more about what's in space. We really need to know about bond lengths and angles. Um, they're important because uh, the structure of a molecule tells you an awful lot about how it's going to react. I enjoy the variety in my work. that I get to work with lots of different types of molecules and that I also get to do work on a computer. So as well as doing the experiments, we try and predict the results that we're going to get using computers. My name is Derek Wan and I'm a structural chemist from the University of Edinburgh.